In this video, I will be showing you some of the features that are available on Google Meet, as well as showing you how to share your screen. So I'll start down in this bottom corner. Here are our meeting details where you can copy the joining info and share it with other people or your students or staff members, but you can copy that so that you can paste it elsewhere. You can also have any calendar attachments that were included. Maybe if there was um, a document that you needed to share with parents, you could attach it on Google Classroom so that it will show up here. You can also mute yourself. This is where you hang up and you can show your video, turn it on or off. For now, I have my camera off. You can also turn on captions, which would be wonderful for some of our students with disabilities or some of their families where uh, maybe deaf, of hard of hear deaf and hard of hearing um, might be trying to attend. Um, I have not used those captions to know how accurate they are, but still that resource would be better than nothing. Um, you can also present your screen. Once we click this, we have three options. You can show your entire screen. You can show a window. So if you had maybe a particular program that you were trying to show your students or parents. Um, but what I really found um, best and what I liked is the ability to show just a Google Chrome tab. So if you have three or four tabs open, you can choose which one you want them to see. Right now, I only have Google Meet, but if there were others, I would have them in a list here so that they would be able to see um, whatever I had on my screen. I found this very valuable when I was doing annual case reviews in the spring and was trying to do them all virtually, I wanted to be able to share their IEP. If we were in the meeting in real life, we would have that on a laptop, project it up onto the screen, so parents could see what I was typing, what I was adding or changing, or, or whatever the case may be. And I didn't want them to lose that ability just because we were going digital. So I liked that I could share the uh, system, the website that we use to create our IEPs, but I didn't have to um, show them everything. So I could also be looking at them in one tab and editing on another tab um, without them having to see themselves because I was sharing my screen. That was in addition to Google Me actually sometime in maybe April or May. There are also other options if you wanted to change the layout of your screen. Um, do you want to see one large person and several small um, other participants that are in your meeting? Um, do you want just the spotlight, whoever's presenting, or do you want it to be tiled? Now, this could definitely change because they are always updating and changing things. When I was doing digital learning in the spring, students were defaulted to this, and whoever the speaker was would be the large screen. So some of those smaller ones then would just be other students who have recently talked or had their microphone on and were making some noise. So you as the teacher were not always guaranteed to be large, um, which is both good and bad. And for our students, they were not allowed to tile. Maybe that was a change, um, especially as it was used a little more for educational purposes. But for a while, they were not used, or they were not allowed to tile. It was a Chrome extension that, like, our students were not allowed to download Chrome extensions. So definitely something to play out both as the teacher role and it, as a student. What do the students see in your meetings? Um, as a teacher, I like to see this so that I could see everybody that was present in the meeting. Up here, you can also um, change change what the view is. This would be a tiled view. I'm the only one here, so I'm still large, or I can turn off the tiled view. I can um, enable screen capture and um, include myself in the grid, highlight the speakers. There are some options there, which you might want to teach your students how to use. Why would they want to highlight the speaker? Why would they not want to highlight the speaker? If you're presenting something and you want your screen to be the largest, then if somebody else is making background noise and their microphone is off, then you wouldn't want them to be highlighted as that larger screen. So definitely some things to talk about and teach your students. 
You can also see who's present in the meeting. And there's also a chat, which is both good and bad for your students. And now it shows the time. It did not use, uh, before, whenever I used this last for um, digital learning in the spring, it didn't have the time, but that could be very valuable um, so that you could keep track of, oh gosh, this meeting has went on for 30 minutes, we need to wrap it up. Or, oh, I this group is almost over and I need to be holding another group in three minutes. Whatever the case may be, the time would be very handy to have. Then also you'll always be in the corner so that you know what your participants or what your students, whoever the case, whoever you would want to refer them to, um, you'll know what they are seeing.